welcome to Sunday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we've got a puzzle called Look, Don't Kill by Directionary or Directionary um, to have a look at. Now, this is one of these strange puzzles that involves look and say cages. And I've done one of these before. It was probably by Directionary. Um, and I really liked it. Um, and it's one of these things where um, I'm trying to think this 26 cage, which ordinarily would contain digits that sum to 26, could be a cage uh, that rather than having to have digits that sum to 26 has to contain two sixes because you read the number as if it's you know the first the first number is telling you how many of the second number there are so this would be saying there was one nine in this cage this would be saying there was one six in this cage it's a fascinating idea um, and yeah the testers have had a look at this and they say it's a really cool puzzle so I'm looking forward to having a go apparently not monstrously hard today um, so we shall see um, but before we kick off I need to say a very happy birthday to Isaac who I think has turned 19 today I hope that's right uh, Isaac you live in Ottawa if I'm not mistaken and your friend Peter Knoll got in touch with us to say you might appreciate a shout out so I hope that's right and I hope you've had an absolutely brilliant birthday with lots of cake. Um, what else can I tell you? Well, the same things I've been saying the last few days, to be honest. Um, we've got our new app out, which is Domino Sudoku. It's really good. So have a look at that if you've not checked it out already. And if you're a patron of the channel over on Patreon, and why wouldn't you be? It is the best Sudoku club on earth. Um, I think we have cruised through 2,000 correct entries um, for August's monthly reward. So do have a look at that. It's definitely approachable this month. And we've been getting some good feedback on, especially from people who've not never managed to finish a monthly reward before. So um, if, you're, if you're a novice at a Sudoku variant, it's definitely worth having a look at. Um, now, all that said and done, let's have a look at uh, the rules of Look, Don't Kill. They are as follows. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Along thermometers, digits must increase from the bulb end. So these thermos are normal. Um, so that means if this square was a three, this square would have to be higher than three. It could be five, for example, and then the next digit could be eight, and then that would be a nine. And that would, well, actually that might work if this was a look and say cage. It wouldn't work if it was a normal cage adding to 19, but we'll get on to that. Um, digits along arrows must sum to the digit in that arrow's circle. So that means those three digits there, let's make those one, two, and five. One, two, and five sum to eight. So one plus two plus five is the digit you put in the bulb end. And that would be a correct form of an arrow. Now, here's the complicated bit. The cages in the grid are either killer cages or look and see cages, or both. It is up to the solver to determine which cage is which. In a killer cage, digits cannot repeat and must sum to the small clue in the top left corner of the cage. So they're a normal killer cage, in other words. In a look and say cage, digits can repeat and the small clue in the top left corner should be read as a look and say number, i.e. it says which digits are in that cage. For example, if a look and say cage has the clue 12, then it means there is one two in the cage. And if, if the clue is 33, it means there are three threes in the cage. So hopefully that's clear. I think it is fairly, it's fairly obvious once you get your head around it, but do have a go at the puzzle. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play, let's get cracking. Now, we have got some longish arrows here for once. Most of the arrows I seem to get nowadays are underwhelming. Um, but this arrow, that's those digits have all got to be different numbers. So the minimum we could put into these squares would be a one, two, three, triple, which means that the circle must be at least a six. And the same is true there, look. But even better than that, these are, I think, even more restricted. Because if I put one, two, and three in this column, that's already six, and I've still got to add another digit to it, which could be a one. But that means this circle's got to be seven, eight, or nine, and I think that circle is the same. Those three digits are different, so they're adding to at least six, plus this digit is going to take us to at least seven. Now, this arrow, though, is a bit kinky, isn't it? And it's less useful, I think, because 
we could repeat a digit along it. Those two digits could both be a one and that could be a two. I mean, that. Oh, I suppose that would break the cage though. So it's not possible for this to be double one, two, but it's certainly, I'm not confident we can just write in six here. Oh, actually, maybe we can actually, because if that wasn't six, if that, well, if that was six, the maximum size of those two squares Oh, hang on, no, what I mean to say is if that, I'm not even sure this can be six, to be honest. Ah, no, hang on. Hang on, here is a simpler way of understanding what I'm getting to on this cage. And that's that's what I'm going to do is to combine it with the with the cage, well, with this, this arrow and think about those cells together because I can immediately see that that's pushing up the value of this mighty high. So yes, look at those digits there and ask what's the minimum they could be. Well, if these were one, two, three, four, and five, the yellow cells would be 15, and that's the bare minimum they can sum to. So if we add this digit and this digit to 15, we're going to get to at least 17, which means those two squares together add to at least 17. So this can't be a seven because this can't be a 10. So this must be eight or nine, and that must be eight or nine, and it wouldn't be very difficult for this to have to be two nines. If one of these digits is even as high as two, this is two nines, or if these digits are adding up to 16. So, okay, so those must be from one and two, mustn't they? Oh, Right, now hang on, what's that digit then? Actually, this might not be enough, but this, this digit, because these three digits must be at least six, this digit can't be more than three, or this would have to be a double digit number. So, oh, <laughs> you know what I've just done? You know what I've just realized? I've just realized that I was trying to use that 16 cage as if it added up to 16. Now clearly that was that was a false assumption because it could have been one of those strange cages that has to just contain one six. So the logic I did on the arrows was totally fine. That's not affected by these funny cages. Oh no, I'm gonna have to I'm that's really, really um that's really discombobulated me. Because I totally didn't think of it, even though I just read it in the instructions. Okay. But we're, we're still okay at the moment, which is a relief. Hmm. Okay. So how, I mean, actually we can use the secret to say one of these cages is broken. Now the secret is something I only tell my favorite people. Um, but of course, if you're watching this video at eight minutes in, you're certainly one of those people. And the secret is that the digits one to nine sum up to 45. Now, if we combine that with the rules of Sudoku, which says that the digits one to nine have to appear in every box. That tells us those nine digits sum to 45. Well, if these cages were both natural cages, killer cages, these eight cells would sum to 16 plus 18, which is 34 and require this cell to be 11, which it most certainly cannot be. So at least one of these cages is broken, which is presumably in some way important to know. Um, hmm, okay. <laughs> uh, well, it's really thrown me the idea that this cage could have, could have just been a 1-6 cage, i.e. having 1-6 in it. Can I use this somehow? 3, 4, 5, 6 is okay, isn't it? 3, 4, 5, 6, I think is 18. So I don't, I could make it three, four, five, seven, for example. So this digit isn't particularly restricted. I think it, well, it does give us a one, two, three, triple in the box though, because this presumably can't be four. Four, five, six, seven is 22, which is most, oh no, what am I talking about? This is a 19, I've done it again. This is a 19 cage. So that that's completely wrong to write one, two or three in here because it could be a one nine cage, i.e. having one nine in it. Oh, this is, <laughs> right, forget cages. They are not your friends in this puzzle. We have to, I'm gonna have to make a start doing something else. Um, 
All right, let's start by labeling these digits. Those digits are definitely, oh, that's, that's a bit of an overkill, isn't it? But these digits definitely can't include a seven because we know we've got to keep these digits down to either 15 or 16. That tells us seven is in one of those cells in the box. Um, these digits, well, okay, they're from one, two, three, four, and five, aren't they? I'm getting, <laughs> I'm not really very happy about pencil marking that. So what is it that I'm meant to be appreciating? I'm looking at the bottom of the grid and nothing there looks appetizing at all. So there must be a way of, if the, there must be a one in one of those positions, mustn't there? Because if this was double two, there's no way to keep these down to, to 18, which is the maximum they can sum to. So there must be a one in one of those, which means that's not a one. Um, can we do better than that somehow? This is tricky. <laughs> it's really tricky. Um, Good grief. Right, I have got something, but this is really difficult. Okay, here is a trick that we can do. So the trick is to ask ourselves about those three digits there and to ask ourselves whether there is a digit that must appear in those three digits. And there is, isn't there? Because if there was no one in those yellow cells, then these cells would add up to a minimum of two plus three plus four, which is nine, plus this digit would take this up to a double digit number. So that tells us that there is a one in this string of digits. And that, well, we could do exactly the same logic for those three cells there. They must have a one, otherwise once we add this, this will be broken. So there is a one in that string of digits. That means this cell is not a one. But now look at those two cells. If both of these cells was a one, this we couldn't put a one in yellow on the left hand side and that would break this arrow. That's, that's a brilliant, brilliant break in, but that's really hard to see. Um, but at least, it's, at least it does, does quite a lot, doesn't it? Because now we know this can't be double one. So it's a, it must be one and two. And these must be one, two, three, four and five adding to 15 plus one plus two is 18, which means this is double nine. Um, we know there's a one in that string of digits, so there is not a one in those two cells. And, okay, so now I know there's an eight in one of these cells. I know, ah, this, this cage has to be correct now because there is not a six in it. Oh, in fact, look, there's a six, seven, eight triple, I've just noticed. Right, there's two, so there's two things we can deduce there, isn't there? Firstly, this has to add up, this cage has to add up to 16, which means these two digits have to add up to seven, which means that digit has to be a two to make the arrow add up to, add up to nine. So this could be, well, it could be two, five in a particular direction or three, four. Now we know this has to be a one, which requires these cells to add up to eight. And that can't be a one. So this is either one, three, four or one, two, five. Yes, okay, and that's perhaps unknown at the moment, which way round that goes. But the other thing I was thinking is once we know that this 16 cage is a correct cage, we know this 18 cage is an incorrect cage because otherwise we worked out that had to be an 11. So this cage has one eight in it and that oh, doesn't do very much. It means there's an eight in one of those two positions. This is no longer able to be two, look. Now, is that helpful? Is that helpful? I don't know. Ah, if that's a one, that's not a one. So this is a one. So this is a three. 
which means this is a 9. Good grief. And now we're away. So this is now not a 3, so that's not a 4. And that hasn't, hasn't disambiguated how this 7 cage works. Oh, <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's such clever setting. Okay, now I'm going to come back to this naughty 19 cage that confused me mightily a few minutes ago. Oh, terrible choice of colour. Let's go for that. Now, it can no longer have a 9 in it because of these two 9s. So it is not a look and say cage. It is a normal killer Sudoku cage. So it has to sum to 19. Now, I, well, we've already looked at this when I was making my mistakes earlier. There's no way this can be a 4 because 4, 5, 6 and 7 add to 22. So this must be a 1 because it can't be a 2 or a 3. Now, the next digit is still going to be restricted, I suspect, because if that's... Oh, no, it's not quite. It has got options. It could be 4 or 5. It can't be 6, because 6 plus 7 plus 8 is uh, uh, 21. It could be 5, with 5, 6, 7. So 5, 6, 7 would give us 18 there, plus 1 is 19, and it would work. But if this is 4... Then we've got um, five. We need these two to add up to 14. Ah, okay. Well, they'd have to add up to 14 without using a nine. So they'd have to be a six, eight pair. and We would know the order. So that cell is a seven or an eight. That cell is strangely a six always. Whichever, whatever this digit is, that's always six, which doesn't make much sense to me. That's not, oh, hang on. That's not nine. So this arrow's got a 1 on it now, which must be in one of two places, because it's uh, any combination of three different digits that add up to 6, 7, or 8 always requires the use of a 1. That's the same, got the same property. Look, that can't be 9. So there's a 1 on this arrow as well, which is not in the central cell of it. So there's a 1 in one of two places there. So there's a 1 in one of two places here by Sudoku. Nine. Uh, thermos are normal, aren't they? So I can't put thermo in the bowl because then I would have to put 10 or higher in the tip. Right, but just be careful with these cages. Do not trust them an inch. Um, right, I've got a one, two, three, four, five sort of virtual quintuple in row two. So those squares have got to be from six, seven, oh, six, seven, eight, and nine. I want to pencil mark that with the central pencil marks. We know there's an eight in one of those two. So these are not eight. Okay. And now it looks like I'm stuck, doesn't it? It's a clever puzzle. It's a clever puzzle because as I'm saying that and as I'm thinking mm, I've got stuck, I'm not at all confident I know where to look next. I guess, okay, this 19 cage cannot have one 9 in it, so that must be a real 19 cage, which presumably makes it quite difficult to fill. That cell's at, ah, ah, yeah, hang on, look, that cell can't be a 2, so that's at least a 3 which means the minimum value of these two cells is 4 plus 5 is 9, which means the minimum value of those cells is 10. That feels like it's quite tricky. What about if that was 4 then? If that's 4 and that's 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. These need to add up to 8, but that's impossible. That is impossible because... Um, because of the way that the options work for this arrow. So let's try this just to, so I can show you. If this is five, oh, hang on. If this is four, this is five, and this is six, then as a minimum, which means these have to be eight or lower. But this, you can see, has got to be six or seven then. But six or seven require ones and twos on the arrow. So this would be at least three, which breaks the total for the box. That's cute, isn't it? So that's got to be three. Now this digit, again, I think we can we conclude this can't be 5, because if it's 5, we run into the 5, 6 problem with this digit. So that is always 4, and that disambiguates the 4 and the 5 above. 
This is class. This is absolutely class. So now but that digits are two to make the nine arrow work, which means that digits are three, and we know that we're looking at a three four pair here. And a well that's become a one four pair. Now how does this work then? If this is five, which is the least it could be, these have to add up to 10. Well, it couldn't be, uh, this is tricky. It couldn't be six, four, because that would repeat the four. Is there some way we can limit this slightly? Maybe, maybe a better way of doing it is just to say that cannot be a six. It's, it's simply impossible. Because if that's a six, this, uh, well, actually, there's many reasons it fails, amongst which there's a three here. Um, but also, even if this could have been one, two, and three, that would have required this digit to be a five. Six plus five plus four is 15. Um, and there would be no way of making this digit work. Although, actually, maybe that would be wrong, but six doesn't work anyway, because I was wondering, actually, if I could make it a two. But it doesn't matter. This cannot be six, because that cannot be one, two, three. So, that is seven or eight. Now, if that's seven, this is one, two, four, and that's got a minimum value of three. So, seven plus three requires that to be four plus five. If that's eight, on the other hand, this with this three there here, this would have to be one, two, five. So, this would be three at least and that's impossible that's impossible because eight plus three requires these to add up to eight and that's no longer even conceivable so that is seven that is three that's five this is a one two four triple and that might mean well what does that mean for those digits they're two six and eight and that one can't be two. And I guess we now know what these bottom digits are, don't we? They've got to be six, eight, and nine. And that we can't put nine in the bulb. And we can't put six in the tip, because then we would have a higher digit beneath it. And this 14, no, this, this cage, which might be a 14 cage or not, is well i think this is going to be a real cage because no, we haven't really used any low numbers in this box yet so filling this in with one two and three looks entirely plausible hmm that digits a two by sudoku now what do we do two therefore has to be in well probably in the bulb one of those two positions. Um, three has to be in one of those three positions. So it could go two, three, something. Oh, nine, I can place in the middle of the grid just by Sudoku of all things. There's a nine over here. There's a nine over here. Oh, I know what this arrow is. It's got a three here, so that's a two, three pair, and I know the order. So that's three, that's two. Sorry, I just hadn't looked up here for a while. Um, has that done any magic for us? Well, it gives us five, seven, and eight to place in row three. Five, seven, and eight up here. Uh, do we? Can we do better than that? Oh, this 19 cage has got to work. That's true. It does. It hasn't got a 9 in it, so I can fill that digit in. That's got to be 8. Which means that's not 8. There's definitely an 8 vertically here, which places the 8 in box 3. It gives us a 6, 7 pair here, which makes this square an 8. Wow. And that square a uh, 2. And that square a 6. So still haven't got this one four figured out, I don't think. Um, okay. So, <laughs> what can we say now? I don't know. That 
arrow can't have a, a one, two, or a three here, so that cannot be a six now. So this is seven or eight, and if it was, if it's seven, that has to be a four. Oh wow! Okay. Wow, this is really, really good. Look, let's think about this this seven eight arrow situation now because this digit is on a three cell arrow so and it's adding up to seven or eight so it has to be a four or a five you can't put six here this is a four or a five now these two digits have to be from one two and three now because we're either looking at a one three four triple or a one two five triple or a one two four triple but that remember what we said over here i i said that i bet this is going to be uh, a real cage because I could see that there were low digits that I could put in into these six cells well now now it's got trickier if this is a, if this is a real 14 cage that's a one two three triple and that's no longer possible I'd have four digits in row eight that have to be ones twos and threes it won't work so this is a lying cage well not a lying cage it's got a four in it is what we've now learned which is actually incredibly unhelpful Ah, Derek, you rotten thing. Um, oh, I, I keep seeing other things that I want to do. There's a six there, and this is a five, seven pair. Let me just fill that in while I've seen it. Those squares have got to be four and uh, something, two. Two, four pair. Actually, now, now we can see I've effectively got all of these triplicated, haven't we? So I can fill these in with one, seven, eight. That's not one. And I can fill those in with four, not four, five, six, and nine. Okay, so maybe this cage in a moment or two is where we need to look. Um, let me just think about this. Let me just think about this. Um, 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 um. So can we not improve upon this seven eight arrow it feels like it wants us oh there's a five seven eight triple in column four so i need ones twos and fours into the balance it's not really so if that was four that would have to be the three but this could be one of those strange cages that just needs to have a five in it ah but this column look we know some things about threes fives and sevens <laughs> okay here is a question what do the digits three five and seven add up to now that i happen to know is 15. so how could this be a real 15 cage well it can't because if it was a real 15 cage what digit would you have to put into this cell? Well, because these two digits are selected from the digits 3, 5 and 7, that will have to be a 3, 5 or a 7 as well. And that will mean there are four digits in that box that are selected from three different numbers, which is wrong. So that tells us that this cage is a look and say cage and has a 5 in it. Which, given we know the 5, so there's a 5 in one of those two cells, which means that's not a 5. And that's this is this is just lovely. This is really original. Um, it's just really clever. Now that can't be seven, can it? It's got to be three because of the thermo. Maybe I've made that hard to see, but the thermo is definitely poking up here. So whoops. So that's got to be three. This is f oh five seven. But we don't know the order. Now don't get carried away with thinking about this digit. This digit is not interesting that cell now can't be a four so this is one or two ah that cell's become eight which means that's nine which doesn't tell us this digit hmm okay now what now what do we do which lies do we try and uncover next um hmm don't know. I think this could still be either one three four or one two five. 
he says, with, with no, no real confidence. Um, do we know there's got to be a six in one of these cells? Don't think that's important. It's got to be a two over here, but we already knew that. And then there's a one or a four over here. And the thermo is now working, so I don't really have to think about the thermo. This thermo is working. This thermo, I've not thought very much about yet. Yeah, okay, so maybe maybe what we have to do is to say, what if this is a real a real cage if it's ah if it's a two if it's a there are two sixes in this cage situation that will put a six in that domino and in that domino and that will remove six from all of those cells and make that a six and that will do some things so i'm tempted to think that's what we're going to end up with which would imply that we can force this cage to not be a killer cage how do we do that so if this was, if this was five and six, that would add up to 11. These two squares would have to be seven and oh, that's, that doesn't work for a lovely reason. Right, watch this. If this is a five, six pair, this is a nine. But what happens with this thermo now? These two digits have to add up to 15 without using a six. So they have to be seven and eight in that order and that has to be a nine and the thermo break. Well, column three breaks. So that's not right which means there must, well, I was about to say it means there must be a nine in here. That's not true. It means if this is a killer cage, there must be a nine in here. So what about nine and five then? Nine and five is 14, which would require this to be four and eight. Now, is that broken? That doesn't, that doesn't immediately look broken to me. So what I'm thinking is if this is five, nine, this is now six. These have to add up to 12, which can't be five, seven or three, nine. So they have to be four, eight, and they have to be in that order. It's complicated, isn't it? It would do some things with eights. Give us an eight here, it would give us a six here. This would have to be nine. I'm desperately looking for why this fails because I, re I really wanted this to be a double six cage. But I can't see why it breaks. Is there some... I mean, it actually this, if it's true, is forcing all sorts of things as well. That would force this to be a four. Oh no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for that reason. Golly, that's difficult. If that, I, th I suspect this, that there is a cleverer way than I've just seen of proving that this is not true. Actually, no. All right, no. I'm going to attemper that because I think it's actually very beautiful. It's just, it's just you have to put it together in your brain. Now, if you do this, you have to put a nine here. Now, look, we've now got a four nine pair here. And we've got fours and nines in those positions in box nine. So what's this digit got to be? Well, it's simultaneously got to be four and nine because I need to put those digits in this box. And you can't have a Schrodinger cell, not even in this naughty puzzle, directionary. You can't even have it in this. So that doesn't work. And that means I only have to get rid of one more, um, one more piece of trickery now. And we're good to go, aren't we? Just trying to check whether I've just deleted something I shouldn't have done. I think I think this is okay. So we worked out now it's five nine isn't working. So why doesn't six nine work? If this was six nine fifteen, these have to add up to eleven. Ooh, actually that might work. Well that at least might be there might be a few ways of doing that. Um because then we're looking for, if these are adding up to 11, they could be four, seven, or they could be three, eight. 
four seven or three eight. Um, four. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure whether I can disprove either of those. In either case, this becomes a very high digit. Becomes an eight or a nine, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder. I don't know. I don't know that I can disprove that, which is discombobulating in the extreme, because we worked so hard to disprove 5, 9, <laughs> and I thought that was a really lovely spot with the 4s here and the 9s, but this, this feels harder to disprove. Ah, ah, hang on, I can do a bit better, because if this is 6, 9, that's 5, so that's 4, so this can't actually be 4, 7. So the only way this works is if this can be 3, oh, it can't be 3, 8, of course. Because once this, yeah, once you get a four here, it's, it's really, it's cunning, is what it is. It's cunning. Right, so finally I've understood it. Let's do it slowly. So if this is six, nine, these two squares have to add up to 11, but they can't be five, six, or two, nine. So they've got to be three, eight, or four, seven. But the point is, it's really gorgeous. Because that becomes a five, that forces this to be a four, and this to be a one, three arrow, and there is now no way of making this domino add up to eight because you've removed every single way of doing it. That cage is very, very, very clever. So we can get rid of this four because we haven't now proved it. We have now, all that work is to prove that this is a double six cage. It's a look-see cage, um, which means that there is a six in it in this row and there is a six in it in this row, which means that that is not a six and this is an eight. And that's a six, so that's a six. There's an eight down here by Sudoku. There is a six up here, using the fact we've got to put a six in this column. That gets us the six and the seven over here, which gets us the seven here and a five, eight pair, which means these squares have to be a three, four pair. So four is now definitely in one of those three cells at the bottom of column three because of these fours aligning. You can't put fours in there. Um, and this, is, oh, <laughs> this is good. That can't be a four because that's on the tip of a thermo that has a six in its first two positions. So the four has been relegated to the almost the very bottom of column three, which, is that gonna help me? Come on, help me. Um, one, three, four, or one, two, five. So if the six was here, this would have to be seven, then nine. Six, seven, nine. Is that breaking something? Forces that to be nine, that to be seven, that to be five. Yeah, there's all sorts of trickery going on here. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we must be closing in on it, I think. Because one of these is six, this is a, this is seven or nine just by force, isn't it? Because it's got to be higher than six and it can't be eight. So is that somehow forcing something over on this right hand side? We've got a seven nine pair. Sorry, I've just noticed there's a seven nine pair in here, which gives us a five eight pair here. Does that ring any bells with what we've just been looking at beneath? Hmm. Oh, eight here. Sudoku, of course. That's normally the thing I miss, isn't it? Fives and sevens. Okay, so let's have a look at the bottom of column six now where we need ones fours and nines is that somehow restricted there's definitely a nine in one of these two there's i still don't know what this eight arrow is 
I think we might have to do some more pencil marking. It's possible there's some restriction I'm not appreciating in box 9. So let's do that. We need 1s, 2s, 4s and 7s in this column. 1, 2, 4, 7. Do we get any restriction there at all? That can't be 1. Um, we know there's a 4 in the cage, don't we? So this, these two come down to 1s, 2s and 7s. That's a bit suspicious. And in this column, we need 1, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 3, 4 and 5. And the 4 is definitely in this, in this configuration. That can't be a 1 still. Now, what's going on there? What about... What about... Something feels like it's happened in this row. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but it does feel more restricted than it did before. So is there some reason? So if that's one, three, four now, that's five, that's seven, and that's two. Um, and that's four. So these, if this is one, three, four, this becomes five, two, four. Four, one. Is that broken for some reason? I can't see. I don't know. Maybe, but I'm not seeing it again. So maybe, maybe we come back to this thermo, do we? So if this is six, this has to be 7, this has to be 9. What's that breaking along this line? That becomes 5. Not seeing it, not seeing it. What about if that's 6 then? If that's 6, this has to be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. No, it has to be 2, 3, 4 or 5. And that's entirely possible. Okay. I've almost, this is quite rare for me. I've almost got a fully pencil mark grid which is not like me at all. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm a bit stumped. Um, I think it's to do with this thermo, but I can't see how to resolve it. There's definitely a six in here. There's definitely a six in there. Can I do the ones and fours on this arrow? No, I don't think so. I do know there's a nine in one of these positions. Oh, okay. Is it possible there isn't a nine on this thermo? That might be, yeah, there could, if there's six and that's seven, there doesn't have to be. No, so that's not it. Or, what about if this is one, two, five, and that's seven? Does that break the world? Two, five. So this would be four, and this would be three. That would be four, and that would be one, and that would be, I don't know what would happen then, something. Why can't I see what's going on here? Um, let me think. Let me think. I still like this, by the way. I like the fact it's making me, it's making me struggle. Because I don't, nothing about this has been unfair. This is, it's, it's just been trick. It's been um, devious. That's, the, that's the best way of describing it. Devious. Um, it's not that thermo. No, I've done that thermo. That's fine. The cell that looks under the most pressure is this one, doesn't it? That's very, I mean, if that's one, three, four, that really puts pressure on this digit. Because that then has to be a five. Which I feel is doing something. These, well, that's a five. Just look at this for a second. And then if epiphany strikes us, that's got to be a four then. 
this remember this 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 gauge is total nonsense so that's got to be seven and that's got to be two so we end up with a three in the corner oh the three the three clashes ah ah okay sorry it's me being bad at sudoku that's what's going on and that's fine i don't mind that i actually prefer it yes i right so if i'd used this three to eliminate believe it or not that three not being allowed to be in the corner is what tells us how the puzzle works believe it or not it's beautiful it's just beautiful because because once you spot this look at this column there have to be well there has to be a three in this domino that is that is definitely true so the moment you make this one three four what do you do to this square this square is the key to everything it's beautiful and the, re the reason that this square becomes problematic if this is one three four is that now this square simultaneously has to be three and four because of the 14 cage needing to have one four in it so making this one three four plonks this to be a three and a four and breaks the puzzle so this is one two five uh, what this is this is very clever as well because every you can see uh, we i felt it a bit with this 26 cage every next step in the in the in the solution path is really carefully considered this is not being put together so, you know with any any amount of you know there's no frivol frivolousness about this it's been very carefully done so that's a four now um that's a three which gives us the three in, in this column which we, we knew we needed that's one five so this is two seven and therefore the one and the four have got disambiguated at the top now and presumably now we get a nine here which means we get a five six here and keep going now that gives us a seven ah that gives us a seven here so we can't put the six in the bulb or this will have to be a six and a half so that's got to be a six that's a two that's a seven that's a two by sudoku um now that digit has to be lower than six so it's got to be one three or four in fact look where does three go in this row it's got to go in the bulb now that's a six because we have to we have to put two sixes in this 26 cage of course so that's a five that's a five that's an eight that's seven it tells us that this square is an eight or it would do if i could type i need a what what do i need a four in that column so this this box still doesn't seem to be done oh it is done there's a five here so the red digit is done that gives us a one four four one nine and okay so maybe this domino at the bottom is what does everything yeah look that's got to be eight which makes this a nine and that nine bounces up there and that gets us the seven and the one and the one and the two and the two and the four and the four and the three good grief that is quality that is a quality puzzle i was expecting it to be easier than that and i know that that's that's just daft i mean there's no reason to think this is easy and it really wasn't every i'm going to look out for more uh, directionaries puzzles because this this was very very well made this is as good a sort of sequence of deductions as, as i can remember for a while and everything felt a bit different and weird um the start was hard it was really hard for me at least to think that there had to be a one on that arrow and that there was th and this configuration over in the top right was problematic to that you know and the double one option that was tricky and very intricate and beautiful and it kept going from there loved it absolutely loved it well done directionary i uh, hope, hope you got on well with it let me know in the comments i enjoy them especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic mm -hmm.